I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's wonderful to be with you on the program. Thank you so much for listening in and watching the program. I want to speak to you about something today with uh, taking our responsibility as believers. If you love Jesus Christ and He is your Lord and Savior, you have an obligation. You have an obligation to be His witness. You have an obligation to be His ambassador. You have an obligation to walk down that street with your head held high, your shoulders back, so that people can see that you belong to the King. Not to be weighed down by the cares of this world, but to use the good news that the Lord has given you to help other people who are suffering from stress and pain. We go to Matthew chapter 25, and I'm reading a few verses. I'm starting in verse 21, and this is how it goes. We're talking about the talents. Remember, God gave talents. So his Lord said to him, this is the, the, the gentleman that got five talents, and he doubled the talents. The Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. He also, who ha, he who also had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. And look, I've gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Now listen to this, folks. Verse 24. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man. Reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have it. It is yours. But his Lord answered him and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant. You knew that I reap where I do not sow and gathered where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. You know, when I first read that parable, it's only a story, but it's told by Jesus. I said, Lord, that's unfair. So the, 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 the man that doubled the money got 10 talents. You gave him the one talent from the guy that only had one talent. And, that, and the Lord said, and that's how it works. You don't, if you don't use it, you lose it. And we need to understand that. You can't just keep it and if you're not using it. I want to say you need to use the talent which God has given you. Now, a man by the name of Mark Pierce said, God holds us responsible. Listen to this, not for what we have, but for what we might have. That's powerful. Not for what we are, but for what we might be. So he holds us for that. So in other words, if he's given you a talent, a gift, and you don't use it, he's going to hold you responsible for that. It's not a case to say, no, no, I don't want to be a preacher, but you are a preacher. And you're a good preacher, but you don't want to be a preacher. You're a good musician, a talented musician, but you don't use it. The Lord will hold you and I responsible for that. So rather use what He's given you for His glory. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.